It's a reward, but not much of one. I hate to be ungrateful. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brendan Dayton, and I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Clover. We're all healed up. We're all good to go. I'm going to explore a bit uh, more near Mount Clover, which I think is probably a good idea. I don't have a whole lot of money for medicinal supplies and whatnot, but I'm going to do my best to try and make it through or uh, find whatever's hidden in that mountain, because I'm sure there's some goodies over there. There's that fedora fag, and uh, somewhere there's probably an entrance. Oh yes, just up this way. Breaking new ground already we are. And let's see if there's something uh, hidden in this here grass. We fought that nerd already. That neat nerd. And uh, no trainers, it seems. I do want some trainers for that sweet, sweet XP. Haha! -ha! Just try and beat my flawless strategy. So I shall, sir. So I shall. Can beat that AI all day. Smogoon Josh wants to battle. Ooh, Smogoon. That sounds uh, similar to what I would be if I played this game. So that looks like a, a poison and flying type, Smoga Robin. Um, I don't necessarily want to have Douglas out here for this, but you know what? We're we're gonna just roll the roll the dice. It might be dark and flying. Let's try out a bike, a bite, and see how it does. Bike? I don't know what I'm talking about. Somebody stole my bike. Smoga Robin stole my bike. Um, it doesn't seem Bite does too much one way or the other. How about Bullet Seed? He used a, uh, sh Stealth Rock, and now he's using Shell Smash, which is really fucking scary. I'm getting kind of nervous. Shell Smash is one of those moves that, uh, lets a Pokemon sweep basically a whole team. So hopefully this thing doesn't have any badass attacking moves, or we could be in some trouble, I do think. It definitely has wings, so it should be a flying type. Grass is not very effective, so I'm putting my money on the fact that it is probably a flying type. I'm going to send in Decker now, see if we can get some rock throws going on it. And, uh, yeah. I wonder what the second typing for this thing is. It definitely has a second typing. Protect is its third move, so it probably has an attacking move for its last one. Or it could just keep shell smashing, which is just fine with me. As, uh, as long as my pokes aren't taking too much damage. Took a little bit of damage from the stealth rocks, but no problem there. I think this is uh, maybe just a joke or something, and they're like, look at all these leap moves. If you play on Smogon, they'll always recommend you use stealth rock and shell smash if the Pokemon can learn it. But we did pretty good there, got through it without uh, much trouble, and got a couple more Pokemon up to level 21. They are now of drinking age, so uh, let's let's share a brew together. Impossible! This set is OU! <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> uh, I, I really like the NU Pokemon, if I'm gonna be honest. Seeing Pokemon that uh, people underestimate, and then even if you if you bring them into the, uh, the OU tier and you can win a game with them, that's a really good feel. So here we've got a bit of slidey ice puzzle, which uh, I guess I expected halfway, a little bit. What do we have out here in the snow? May May, you're just everywhere, aren't you? I don't want no part of that. Fuck off. <laughs> nothing new, nothing exciting. Except this berry tree. It's got an Aspier berry, which I already made the Asperger's joke in the last one. Uh, so I'm not gonna make that joke again. <laughs> but I was thinking about it, just so you know. Uh, is there anything down this way? I suppose not. We'll go ahead and swoop over here. Right quick quite nicely. And this is not ice. Oh, I guess this is snow. It's not as shiny as the ice is. That's how you can tell the difference. I hope I don't need any HMs or something. There's another Mei Mei. Get your shit out of here, dude. I caught one of you already. And then I th I realized that I wanted to use Kim more than a, a cancerous Mei Mei. So I think we're going to go down and around again. Just chugging through the grass, which is kind of nice because we can see uh, the the variety of wildlife here, which is basically just a fucking thousand of these stupid cat fucking things with a weird cancerous troll face on their leg. Um, I guess I'm going to go up over here now. Right? Yeah? Kinda? Interesting. I'm not sure what I'm doing on Mount Clover or why I'm here. But I'm definitely here. There's a Caracold. I'm 
kind of tempted to catch that thing, but, uh, yeah. I don't necessarily want to switch out any of my Pokemon quite yet. Are you the same guy? No, you're a different guy. There's no way you can beat my powerful bird Pokemon. Bird Pokemon? Dude, we went over this. All they do is squawk and shit. Squawk and shit. It's like having a dog that you can't even pet that much. You can pet it a little bit, but come on. It's a fucking bird. It's got feathers. It's kind of gross, isn't it? Here comes the quick attack. Able to do some pretty good damage on Grimlean. Acid uh, does about the same, so we'll go back and forth for a little while. Sweet Scent? Yes, that's a very good move. You should keep using that move. Evasiveness Falling? I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. Go ahead and hit me. That's fine. I want you to hit me. Oh, and there's the rollout. Ooh, I get scared of that move. Every fucking time. Because it, uh... I think Whitney's Mill Tank is what scarred me with the rollout. That and Stomp. Fuck. And he got a critical hit there. I should be able to live just one more. Because, uh... It will double damage, but we we took enough to, to live. Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> oh, God, I suck. All right. So, uh, Gremlin is definitely not proving her worth at the moment, which makes me just a little bit sad. Oh, I should have sent in my own Fryden and uh, gave this thing a quick attack. Well, hopefully I'm faster, and I'm not. Even with a jolly nature, not faster. Still able to live, still able to get the slash in which is uh, pretty sweet. So we've got the set uh, set battle type going, so he's just going to send out his next Pokemon, which is a Stuff Owl. Uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe Metal. No, it's it's not Steel type. It just has like what looks like a spoon on its head. But with a couple of slashes, Kim is able to just wipe that shit off the map, which is really cool. I'm glad Kim got uh, something besides Tackle. I am scared of this birdhouse, however, so... Decker, come in here, do your fucking thing. You know what to do! Throw a rock at it! Always throw rocks at it. Encore? Hmm, I probably should have stayed in with the Slash, that's fine. I don't really know what this thing can do, I just know when we were in uh, the woods, I got a little bit scared of this thing. It was able to hand my Pokémon their, their asses for a second. But, uh, Decker seems to be doing relatively well. Air Cutter? Not scared of that. Not very effective, bro. Gotta do better than that! I don't think it can flinch either. I think Air Slash is the one that can flinch, so... No problem. We got it, coach. Lay down. Get out of here, kid. And maybe, uh, Kim will level up. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? But it didn't happen. What? No! Yep. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Shit kinda happens. I'm halfway tempted to, uh, trade out Gremlin because she's just not proving her worth recently, but... I'm gonna try and get it to evolve, uh, if it indeed it does evolve. I give it to level like 25 or so, and then uh, if it doesn't evolve I'll switch it out for something else. Because she ain't my favorite at the moment. She's just not holding up her end of the deal. Kinda, I can see where the, the weak links are in my team, and uh, I'm not scared to call them out. I'll call them out every time. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Um, so maybe I'm supposed to... Go up a little... Hmm, how do I get to that... That ledge over there? Quite curious. Oh, there it is. Wonderful. Just had to use the rock that was uh, not so randomly placed there. So there's some more grass down there. It doesn't seem anything uh, of interest. And here's a tinfoil battle helm fellow. So uh, let's get Douglas in the front. That'll do nicely. Gotta keep my boy up there. Oh, listen to that X-Files. That's awesome. What if I told you aliens live among us? Would you believe that? Yeah, dude. We're ruled by reptilians. Everybody knows that. Theorist John wants to battle. But that's just a theory. Hey, Lamo. Hey, Lamo. Lameo. Oh, he set up a reflect immediately. That's going to uh, dampen my bullet seed quite a bit. And this thing is level 25. Jesus. The Pokemon here are just so overly buff that it uh, makes everything in this game quite a struggle. Luckily, I got a critical hit on that Bullet Seed, but it's it's not really helping me out too much. Um, maybe I'll just waste some time with Sand Attacks. And he set up the light screen as well, so... That's some pretty good AI. If one were to ask me, I'm going to go ahead and drop that accuracy just so he doesn't start hitting me with any... Uh, 
powerful attacks. He's got recover from his metronome. That is not cool. All the damage I did with bullet seed, gone. And even the accuracy drop doesn't matter. Oh god, he set up a fucking substitute now. That's not good. So he's got uh, light screen, reflect, and substitute. And metronome. That's that's quite a, a move set. Quite a dooming move set. If uh, if he gets lucky enough. So sand attack is going to keep failing. I don't know why I keep trying to use it. Let's get that fucking bullet seed in there. Luckily he didn't set up a second reflect. Or else my life would be over. Cross poison. Oh my god. That's such a powerful poison attack. Luckily Douglas is able to take it. But uh, yeah. A little bit scary. Substitute took damage. Come on, break that shit. Break that shit, dude. Only hit it twice. That sucks. So, hopefully he doesn't set up the reflect. No, he goes for the light screen again. I can't remember if Gen 2, if grass is a special type attack or what. I think it is uh, physical. At least based on the damage that I was doing after the reflect, but... That could just be because of the level difference. I'm not quite sure. The substitute is gone now, and thankfully it is a multi-hit move, so I'm going to be able to smack him in the face just a little bit, and uh, he's going to go for Metronome again. It's a fun move, even when your opponent's using it. Drain Punch, that's a bit of a pain in the ass, but okay. We'll weather that as well. He's got one Pokemon, but it is buff. It is buff as shit. And yeah, I think we are doing more damage with the uh, Reflect Down, so I'm going to wager that Grass is a physical attack in Gen 2, if that's how that works, which I can't really remember. He's got Thunder, but that's not going to work against my Grass-type Pokemons. Even though, you know, Thunder can hit like a tree and light it on fire or some shit. But I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna go there. We're not gonna talk about that because this gives me an advantage, so I'm gonna roll with it. Bullet Seed doing some pretty good damage, racking up five hits. Oh, but he has a berry. God damn it. You got a Citrus Berry or what? Yeah, of course he does. And there's the Reflect. I knew it was coming. I just knew. That's fine. I'll just keep uh, doing my thing out here, hoping for the critical hits, hoping to not get fucked up with a fire move from Metronome. That's about how it goes. That's how we do here. He is getting pretty low though. Thankfully, uh, his substitutes are taking him lower and lower. I don't think I'm going to be able to break it even with five bullet seeds, but um, once it goes away, once the substitute and the reflect and all the terrible things go away, then we should just have a, a great victory. And then we'll have a party. All together on the snowy mountain. Oh god. Douglas is almost dead. This is not good. I'm gonna have to run off the mountain. Which uh, I'm not looking forward to. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Gremlin's already fainted. Let's, uh, let's get somebody else in here. How about... Who has a multi-hit move? Nobody, really. Douglas is my best bet to get through that shit. Kim's at pretty low health. Let's try Kek. I'll roll the dice with the Kek Roach. Top Kek. And hopefully Metronome is uh, gonna be a psychic move and I can just completely resist that. Oh my god, Will-O-Wisp. That is scary. Um, maybe this thing is also psychic type. Which makes sense, I guess. It is an alien and uh, it is owned by like the theorist guy. So... I don't know, maybe we should try Bug Bite, see if it's super effective. Faint Attack was enough to take down the, uh, the Substitute, and it was super effective, so I am assuming that this guy is Psychic-type. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Bug Bite, see what happens. Rain Dance from his Metronome, which is pretty fucking weird. But okay, it wastes a turn, so I'll take it. And yeah, it's definitely a Psychic-type. Psychic and something, maybe, but definitely Psychic. So there we go. Hey, Lameo! <laughs> Are you laughing your ass off, though? Aliens here? I was joking. Hey, Lameo! <laughs> it was just a prank, bro. Hey, that's a super good prank, dude. What a great prank! Oh, do, do I not have any super potions? There they are. My, my eyes just start working. It's a little uh, too early for searching through for super potions. There you go, anal gee. Douglas, the anal algae monster. And uh, I could heal Kim up as well. Why the fuck not? We're gonna be here for just a second. Gremlin, you're gonna fall behind, but uh, that's okay. 
Because you're just on the fucking borderline. You're borderline, kid. I'm gonna tell you right now. You're about to get replaced. Oh, look, a creepy hiker. I want to make sure I got Douglas in the front, and he is, since Gremlin's down. I came here to hike Mount Clover, but there's no cave entrance. Well, I mean, it can just be a mountain. It doesn't have to be a cave. Do you understand the difference between mountains and caves? Do I have to explain fucking geography to you? What's happening here? Alright, let's go down here and check out this, uh, Picnicker, is it? Picnicker Rick? How do you battle people? With my Pokemon? I try not to battle with my fists. Sometimes we have a rat battle. Fucking noob wants to battle. Oh, fucking noob. He's got the dragon. I am so scared of this thing. Fire and steel it is. Fire and steel, metal that's real. So I'm going to bring in my Rockmon and uh, hopefully get some magnitudes going. Mud Bomb is going to hurt. Yes, sir. It hurts a lot. <laughs> and I'm dead. Shit. Shit and a half. Well, how about Kim? Maybe Kim can do something against it. Should I be trying this, uh... This sand attack shit shenanigans against him? Or, uh... What's gonna happen? I just don't know what's gonna happen. Accuracy fell, so Sing is probably not worth using anymore. Just go for the slash, and that missed as well. Jesus Christ, this is not good. He's got Mud Bomb, he's got Ember. I keep missing with my fucking slashes. And he's got Dragon Rage. Oh god. Where did you get that? Why do you have that? I hate everything in life. Oh, Douglas and Keck are not going to be a good match. Pecker is basically my uh, my last option as far as this shit goes. I don't know if Rollout's going to be any good, but I'm pretty sure this thing has Steel type, so uh, Wing Attack's not going to be great. I'll just pray that we can get the rollout going well enough. It's not even fire type, is it? I I'm not sure. I'm not sure one way or the other, but uh, if it's fire and steel, then rock should be super effective. But that's not the case. Dragon Rage gonna take me down to 7 HP. Fuck. This is terrible. Oh man, I, I, I don't know what to do. There's another Dragon Rage. This thing is just... Every time I see it, I'm fucking scared of it. I'm gonna put one on my team, that's for goddamn sure. It is horrifying. How does this happen? Okay, so I'll get some free damage with Fake Out. It's gonna do nothing because he's fucking Steel type. Oh lord. Let's try the Faint Attack. It's also probably not gonna do much, but it's what I got. We gotta, we gotta take it to the limit. Actually, it did pretty okay. I'm not gonna be able to stand up against too many of those embers. And also, he has a fucking Citrus Berry. Oh, Orin Berry. Slightly better, but still uh, a complete pain in the ass. Oh, come on, die, won't you? There we go. Nice crit from Keck. Maybe I could still pull this one out. Definitely gonna need a Pokemon Center after this shit, though. Is the battle over? Did I win? Almost. I fucking hate that dragon Pokemon. This is my first time with a Pokemon. Huh. That, that, never mind. <laughs> Not gonna go there. Not gonna talk about that. My first time with a Pokemon. It's just so soft and supple. No Mel's Cottage. Oh, I've heard of you, fellow. Please don't try and battle me, or uh, I'll be in big trouble. Oi, mate! I forgot to debug my code before running it. Go to my PC and change me back, yeah? Uh, okay. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. What the fuck? Okay. You're in there now. Uh, doodly doodly do. Initiate teleport cell separator. Wonderfully done! I think it's working. Sounds like a Pokemon Center thing happening. Are, are you healed now? Are you healed from your Pokemon ailment? Good job! Hey, buddy! I saved your life, didn't I? You owe me big! Thanks, mate, you're a real bro. I'm no male, by the way. Say, are you taking the gym challenge? My little brother decided to take the challenge, but I haven't heard from him in months. Here, take this too. EXP share. I guess that's good for Gremlin, who's been sucking shit. That's the EXP share. Once again, thanks, pal. Uh, you're welcome. Can I have something else? That's the EXP share. Uh, okay, bye. 
That, that's what I get. That's what I get for helping people out. It's a reward, but not much of one. I hate to be ungrateful. I hate to sound ungrateful, but uh, I would like something a bit more substantial, if you please. He doesn't please. He doesn't care to please, don't you see? I guess there's nothing left over this way. There is a, a box over there. Which I'm a little bit keen to get, so okay. We're gonna do this and that and this and this. And then go get the box! And tell his dogs outside to shut the fuck up! Not my dog this time. <laughs> um, run away. Maymay's everywhere. If I run into something besides a Maymay, I'm gonna catch it. We got an ice heal now, so uh, that might come in handy in some way that I can't fully comprehend. Fluff Yeti! Oh, look how cute it is! I want one. Bite it, Douglas. I'm gonna take this shit home. Fury Swipes. I like those multi-hit moves. They are really good, especially if they crit a lot. Or if you have something like Skill Link, where it guarantees that they hit five times. Is that a thing in this generation? I'm not quite sure. Regardless, throw a Pokeball. We'll see how it goes. I don't want to waste my Great Balls just yet. Yeah, we snatched them up nice. Fluff Yeti was caught! Excellent. Let's see what information I can get from the Pokedex, and perhaps I'll come up with a good name for him. They travel in packs until they evolve when scared Fluff Yeti stack, stack on top of each other pretending to be a snowman. Well, I'm gonna name you Snowball, because it's a Simpsons reference and also a sexual reference where, like, you, uh, come in a girl's mouth and then make out with her or something like that. Is that how that goes? Never done it, just heard about it in Clerks. If you like to do it, then, uh, go for it. I guess. Whatever. Weirdo. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge you, weirdo. <laughs> I guess I can't fit my fat ass through there. I need to go back to the Pokemon Center, because I'm, uh, pretty fucked up at the moment. But they do want to give Grimlin this EXP share. Just because I don't plan on leveling her any other way, and, uh, that'll help get to the maximum level, which is pretty important. Oh look, lastly, it's like a frost last, but more emo looking. I don't want none of that. It's not even cute. Little girl Pokemon, you expect it to be adorable. Fuck that. Seems the higher we climb on the mountain, the less Maymays we're running into, so I guess that's a good thing. But I used all my super potions up. I better not die out here. That would really suck. Is that somebody I should talk to, or, or am I gonna regret my decision? Mmm, let's not do it. Let's not do it, because I have a Pokemon and a half, and uh, it could end really badly. But I got a Super Repel. That should help me get the fuck off this mountain. Shouldn't it? At least in theory. And there's another Fluff Yeti. You're getting less cute every time I see you. Please leave me. Thank you so much. Alright, we'll talk to this guy. If we lose, then that's a quick trip back to the Pokemon Center anyways, I guess. And uh, if we win, then I'll feel like a total badass. And we can end the episode on a high note. Or a low note. It all depends how this goes. Hey, bruv. Blavos, what do you want? Can't you let an old man rest in peace? You don't look like an old man. Your hair's not discolored and... You're like an elf or something? Midget Sleepy. Oh, he's sleepy. And he's got a Warasito. You better watch out, man. You go down to Juarez, you end up with your head riding on the turtle. DAH has come up, try to pull that shit off, ends up just floating. Hank gets uh, PTSD, stays in his fucking garage the whole day, making uh, whatever, micro brews, and then he goes after his brother or something like that. This is the plot of Breaking Bad. It's Breaking Bad that I'm referring to right now. Dude, that Blavos is level 28. Oh, I think we might be taking a quick trip. Quick trip back, I tell you what. But that bullet seat's doing quite a bit to it. Maybe it is super effective. Thank God Douglas was here. Douglas, you're my buddy, you're my boy, you're my boy. God damn it, are you ever. Only 60 EXP? What the fuck? And that music is interesting. Yawn. 
Well, I, I wasn't too entertained either. I should tell you that there are only seven midgets in all of Foch, and I am one of them. Well, we beat one of the midgets up, so that's a high note to end on. Thank you so much for watching, friends. This has been Pokemon Clover. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall find my way off this mountain in the next episode with the Super Repel. We'll fight the gym, do some other fun shit, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that episode equally as much. I always appreciate the uh, likes, comments, subscriptions, all that stuff. It makes me feel so, so good. So please do not hesitate. I will always answer back those comments. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one, friends. Join me next week for more Pokemon Clover. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.